External authentication using Facebook ID in Power Apps portal. These days, it's common to come across websites which have options to sign in with Facebook and many other sites. Power Apps portal has the support to configure this kind of authentication. Now, in this video, let's see how to connect Power Apps portals through Facebook login. Initial step is to go over to developers.facebook.com. Now, log in with your Facebook credentials. If first time you are integrating Facebook into your Power Apps portals, you need to create App ID. Under My Apps, you need to click on Create App button. Provide a display name and click on Create App ID button and complete the security check. Now, under products, click on plus symbol where you will observe a list of products displayed. Among them, select Facebook login and click on setup option. You will be prompted to a window where you need to select the platform to get set started. Select the web. Now you will be asked to enter site URL and click on save. And then continue to click on next button to quick start the app. Go to settings tab and make sure that Client OAuth login, web OAuth login, enforce HTTPS should be enabled. Now provide valid OAuth redirect URLs where you need to give the portal URL followed by slash and type in sign in hyphen Facebook. Now I'll go ahead and turn this live. If you are prompted to provide a valid privacy policy URA and app domain, then under settings, go to basic tab. Provide the portal URL in the privacy policy URL tab and domain. And click on save changes. Now, you need to make the app as public to work with your portal. Select the category according to your requirement and click on switch mode. You will notice that status is live. Make a note of client ID and client secret under basic tab in settings. From your portal homepage, Click on the portal management where you have the site settings in the left hand side. Under active site settings, you will notice two settings related to Facebook. First, you need to enter app ID in the value field. And in the same way, provide the client secret in the value field. Now, in portal, you can observe Facebook icon, where you will be prompted to continue. Once clicked on that, you will be redirected to a profile page where you need to update your information like first name and last name. Eventually, you can observe that a contact has been created under active contacts in contact entity.